Hey everyone, this is Oliver Hoyes and today I want to show you how you can buy and sell NFTs and what are NFTs, right? Because, you know, I get many questions and this thing is a, a whole new world and it's super exciting. I'm meeting so many great people and it's, it's just amazing where we are leading, where we are going towards in, in this new world. And so I'm sure everybody will be on you know, NFTs on one point. Um, I see the coming and we are still early. So if you get on, on to NFTs and you find some great things, some great art, uh, you can be very lucky because you're still early. Because, you know, it's a different technology, so it's not so easy yet to get on, on there. And that's why not so many people are on there yet. Uh, but for me, I just saw a huge opportunity and... Um, it's exciting. It's it's exciting. It's new. Something is happening, and uh, I'm grateful for all the people I'm meeting in the NFT space. And thank you if you want to support me as well. I always appreciate that. So let's have a look. When you want to buy or sell, you first need a MetaMask. So you get go on MetaMask.io. Then you go on Download Now. Then you come to this page, and what you want to do is install it. Install it in uh, Chrome. I mean. It, you just basically add it on your Chrome. So I have it already. That's why it's here. Um, it's German. My native language is Swiss German. One of the hardest languages there are, there is, there are. <laughs> Anyways, um, I have it already on there. So I would take it away. You want to put it there, right? So it, it will be like add, add to Chrome. And then what happens then? You get onto MetaMask. Um, here I have MetaMask. And uh, this is how it will look like. But first, you need to install it. And I don't take you through that because it's self, it's self-explaining. Um, yeah, you just add it to your Chrome. When you go on there, it will lead you to a page, and there you create your own account. What you want? It asks you if you already have um, an account and if you want to use your recovery phrases or if you want to make a new wallet. So you just make a new wallet and then you go, go through the process. And just one thing that is really important is that you get recovery phrases. If you're already investing in crypto, you know that. Um, but I got scammed once, lost a lot of money, and these coins would have been today even more worth. So it was painful. It was really painful because I, I didn't really fully understand yet what those recovery phrases are because there are also different words for it. Some say it's your keys. Some say recovery phrases or rec recovery seats. Um, but basically you get a bunch of words, like I think it's 12. So it, depending on where you sign up, it's diff different amount. But there will like be small words um, and you just need to write them down. Don't save them on your phone, write them on a piece of paper. The best is even to make write down, like or write it down once and make copies of them and then have them on different places and have them saved. Um, because if somebody finds that, they they can get all your money basically that you have on the wallet and that happened to me right the, the scammers i gave them my my keys my recovery phrases because i didn't really get it and i was everything was so hyped and that ho happens often with nfts and cryptos you know that if there is a new launch it's so hyped and then that's where you need to be careful so i gave them my seats and they took all the money out and i'm still thinking about it it's painful it's really really painful so that's super important i just want to mention that so you don't make the same mistake you write them down on paper and then you go, then you move forward. And what happens then if you follow the steps, you are getting to this place, right? It will be on your Chrome extension. And then you just want to buy some, some Ethereum. That's what you want to do first, right? Because now, no matter if you want to sell or buy, you need Ethereum. And uh, sometimes gas fees are high. This is a story for, no, for another video if you don't know what gas fees are. But when you do, um, when you create your first NFT, if you want to do this, then you need to pay like an initial fee and it can be quite expensive depending on the gas fee. And I think I paid like hundred bucks or something, but I saw also once it was like two, 300 bucks. So be careful of that and um, don't pay too much gas fees. There are times during the day when, where there are not too many people on online and that's when it's the cheapest. So that's it. Um, that's video one. I will add another video. Um, exactly. The next video will be how you can buy on NFT. But first you need this MetaMask because without it, you cannot buy or sell any NFTs. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions and see you soon. Hey guys, this is step two. So 
in the other video, we created the MetaMask wallet. In this video, we go to OpenSea. Um, it, can a bit, it can be a bit annoying um, depending on, um, I guess from, from every country, it's different how to buy, but I'm not sure. Um, it can be a bit, a bit annoying. So let me just show you, you go on this. For me, it's Wire, right? You just go there. Wait, now I was maybe too fast. Um, make, let's make it slow. So when you have your MetaMask, you go on Buy, and when you buy, you go to Wire. And there you basically fill out all the, yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's pretty simple. You just fill out all, you, you put in how much you want. I would recommend you a bit more because of the gas fees, right? Just, it's always good. It's like a wallet, so it's not lost or anything. And uh, I think you also can transfer it back to Switz. But yeah, you can. I just don't know yet how I never, I never transferred from MetaMask, Ethereum to Swiss francs. I always kept it there. So anyways, you put, you can choose, right? Um, Apple Pay, I have, I have different options. I use usually credit card because it's faster, but you also need to pay some fees. You go on next and you fill everything out. That's it. So it's actually pretty easy. So then let's don't waste any time and go to OpenSea. So also to tell you a little bit like what are NFTs. NFT stands for non-fungible token. And it's basically about ownership. You can own digital assets. That was never before possible because when the internet came up, you could save and copy and share um, a JPEG or a video, right? It, there was no way you could own it. Um, but there was a really, really great things that you could own, like famous things, right? Like the, what's the name? The, the cat, you know, the... Uh, not cool cat, but there was, I don't know right now, but Nyan cat, Nyan cat. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Anyways, but there was this cat, you know, there's some, a few, or like actually a lot of them, a lot of famous images. And if you own one of them, everybody knows you own that. And it's worth a lot because everybody wants to own it. Uh, that's just one example, but it's, yeah, basically about ownership. And, um, yeah, and I mean, you know, the metaverse coming up, if you think it's good or not, um, I have some concerns, definitely, but it's always like you can either use it for good or for bad, right? And it just depends who, you know, ha who has the control of that. But um, I don't want to go too deep into it, but I just see that the metaverse will become a huge thing. It's, it's inevitable. It will happen, 100%. And uh, we can use it to make a change. And that's also why I did my series, for example, NFT collection, be the change. It's my first one of, on OpenSea. And uh, because I want to put something out that's inspiring in this metaverse, in this new space, right? Because you meet new people. And because like people that buy my NFTs, they, made, they, they didn't know me before because they were not interested in, in art, like in original art. But NFTs is very interesting for them. And so I can keep inspiring other new people and reach more people. So this is my, that's what I want to do with my NFTs. So let's say you are on foundation, uh, on OpenSea. Uh, this is now my profile. This is not listed. So it's actually not a good example. But what you can do, you can li li um, like, or like you can make them as your favorites and then look at them later. And let's go to, to the explore page. Let's go. My home is, I don't know who is, who he, he who this is, but um, he has now some, shout out those are quite a lot so that's that these are col called collectibles right they are um yeah more of them but therefore cheaper and you know it's th this is more about community um this is not the topic but let's say you want to buy one right so here this is listed you go on buy now and when you do that it says if you have enough funds or not i don't so you could potentially also add funds here this is e even easier. It goes for me faster. So it's like super fast. It's MoonPay. Um, yeah, Fort Fordon, da-da-da. It's pretty simple. Um, that's how you buy it.